welcome to another moment of truth. And the Lord who has been teaching us from the life of Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I believe that uh, he will yet teach you again. Let's just wrap up some of these sessions before we now go to learn, you know, all that we have been giving you are the foundations of how things happen. So by the time we now go to next edition after now, you begin to understand how Daniel did it so that you also, you will never fail in Jesus' name. Now, the number one, two, three, four, five way by which the, the kingdom of Babylon tried to absorb us is what? Babylon will offer you almost what I call an irresistible gift. That's how they absorb people. When you see small, small children all over the place, you want, to, you want to draw them to you. You start giving them gifts. You give them candy. Before you know it, they start gravitating towards you. And lo and behold, in the Babylonian system, that is the method. It, it is a reward system. How do we know? Let's check the scripture. In verse number 4, of that chapter 1, verse number 4 of that chapter 1, and I read, Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in knowledge, and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongues of the Chaldeans. What is the gift here? What is the what is, the, what is the gift that they want to put on the table? What is the catch here? Brethren, you know what the catch is? They said, you will stand before the king. Now, what does it mean to stand before the king? Let me give it to you in your own language. He said, we know the owner of that business. If you can do this, we will take you to him. We want to bring you before the authorities of our time. The man who is going to do the promotion, it belongs to us. He's a member of our club. We will take you before him. Some of you will say, I need the network. I need the network. Okay, they will bring you into the network. But they will now tell you, we'll bring you to the man who is controlling the network. You yourself say, ah, that would be a good one. Excuse me, that is Babylonian system. Now, is it a bad system that they should take you to the owner or the, 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 the decision makers? It is not. But how will you know whether this is a Babylonian approach or not. Let's look at the scripture. The Bible tells me in Matthew chapter 4, verses 8 to 11. Matthew chapter 4, verses 8 to 11, where Jesus Christ was tempted by the devil. The scripture says he took Jesus Christ to the mountain top, huh? and he now showed him all the beauties and the glories of the world. Matthew chapter 4, let's look at it, verse number 8. Bible says, And again the devil taketh him up in an exceeding high mountain, and he showed him, I want you to note this verse of the scripture, all the kingdoms with an S of the world, and the glory of them, and said to him, All these things will I give you. I will give you everything. If you will but bow down and worship me. Verse number 10. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee behind me, get thee in, Satan. It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Now, what am I trying to pass across to you here? Babylon's, the, 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 the epitome of whatever can happen to any man in Babylon was to come before King Nebuchadnezzar. His presence was not cheap. And when you come into his presence, you can obtain as much as half of the kingdom if you please the king. And when you come to the praise of the king, you can demand for whatever you like. So that was what Babylon dangled before Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, yes, we will, we will, you will come to the presence of the king. You will have authority to come into the presence of power. You know, too many of us will like it. You see, when it comes to politics, you would want to say, we'll bring you before the chairman so that the denomination can work very well. We say, but this is the condition. Be careful. Babylon is there. When it comes to academics or education and science, they say, look, you will become the best as a PhD holder. We will bring you into the carcass. When you come into the carcass, you will be able to do whatever you like. Be careful. Hey. When they talk about economics of the nation, the finances of a nation, I'm more or less listing the seven highlands, the seven mountains of prosperity 
for you. That's what I'm doing. You see, in the, in the room of economy and finances, you want to be on top. I want to be the bank manager. I want to be the, the, the manager of the, of the central bank. And they say, don't worry, we can make you one. All you need to do is to be part of us. Excuse me, be careful. Hey, be, your faith is much more important than all those things. They say, we will bring you before the king. The Babylonian system can only bring you before the kings of the earth, before the authorities of the earth. They cannot bring you before the king of kings. So be careful how you trade the treasures of, 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 of Zion for the nonsense and the mundane things of Babylon. Daniel said, it doesn't matter whether you are going to bring me before the king or not. I am going to be a man of Zion. I'm going to be what God wants me to be. He refused. Some of you, you want to reign in all those mountains of life. He said, my own is in the entertainment industry. That is where the devil is even playing. Too many of all these, our psalmists who started in the church and ended in the world is because they promised them, we will give you stardom. We will put you before one million crowd. All you need to do is to agree with us. He told Jesus Christ, all you need to do is to bow down to me. When you bow down to me as your idol, I will take you there. And some of you, you want to meet the Oprah Winfrey of our time. You want to meet the Tiger Woods of their time. You want to meet all the celebrities. And you now go and say, ah, I pay homage. I respect the elders. I now you are shaking their hand. And they say, well, but we, we, they will see the glory of God in your life. And they will tell you, we can make you, we can make you become a, a celebrity. We can bring you before our lead man in this area, our lead man in that area. And before you know it, Without thinking, you will have said, that would be good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I see people, just young adults. You see, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I met who? Who did you meet? I met Oprah Winfrey. Who is Oprah Winfrey to me? What's my business with that girl? A child of God? Ah, and that lady can position you in the world. I'm not saying she's a devil. That's not my business. My business is that it is not a man. The moment you are seeking for a man and you want to stand before that man, the Babylonians will make sure you come before that man. But you will bow down to their idol. So be careful how you go. Babylonian absorbing system is what we have discussed. They will promise you a gift you cannot resist. A, a gift that they will say, we will give you these millions of dollars, these millions of naira, or these millions of yen, or these millions of name it. And you say, wow, I've never seen that kind of money before. Hey, I'm going to go for it. Before you go for it, be careful. What are you bowing down to? You are bowing down to the devil. The summary is very clear. Babylonian is a Babylonian system is a system that has been weaved into our everyday life. Everyday life. You will see it anywhere you go. Watch, for, watch out for it. That's one of the reasons why you are listening to this lecture. So that you can watch out for it wherever you go. Number two, it appears to be God tolerant, but it is an antichrist system. The Babylonian system may say, you can do whatever you like. They were unlike, where we come next time, we'll talk about, they were not like Egyptians who oppresses you. They will not. They will tell you, you can do whatever you like. They seem to be tolerant. It's not true. Behind that tolerance is the Antichrist system that will, that will rope people in and will trap them as they weave you into their, into their embrace. Excuse me, don't embrace Babylonia anything. Number three, very quickly, we touch it everywhere we go. We touch the Babylonian system everywhere we go. In your books, in your carton, in your, tel in your fashion design store, in your salon, anywhere. They are there. The lecturers are all over the place. They are weaved into everything in the system. Don't forget it. It's a very subtle, satanic system. It's not going to grab you once. It draws you gradually and steadily. And if care is not taken, you are sliding into it. You will not slide into Babylonian system in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I tell you one thing, almost an irresistible offer waits for any man that is embracing it. But Jesus Christ said no to the devil. He said, have you not heard? You must only worship the Lord your God. If that is the only thing you are getting from this series up to this point, that you must never... Never bow down to the devil. Like Jesus Christ, reject it. You must reject it too. 
Learn the secret of rejecting the offers of Babylon because behind every Babylonian system is the satanic agenda of Antichrist. Go and be the best that God wants you to be. From next week and next edition, we'll start looking at Daniel specifically. How did he live in Babylon so that you can live in the same place too? Go and be blessed and be the best that God wants you to be in Jesus' name. Amen.